first day in Egypt, and we're about to head on a tour. We got in pretty late last night, and pretty much just went right to bed. So this is kind of our first time exploring the city. Dashur, uh, which is on the outskirts of Giza, uh, about it was about an hour drive. The tour guide is explaining to us exactly uh, how populated it is here. It's just it's unbelievable. She said Cairo has 14 million people in it, Giza has 8 million, and then I think all together, including all the surroundings, uh, the Cairo metropolitan area has 27 million people, which is like five million more people than New York City has. As we were driving through Cairo and Giza, we noticed a ton of unfinished buildings all along the highways and whatnot. And our tour guide was explaining that um, they're unfinished because the landlords and property owners, they don't have to pay taxes until their uh, buildings are completed. And so pretty much they'll finish the insides of them and leave the outsides unfinished. So the first two pyramids in Dashur that we're looking at are the, uh, they're called the Bent Pyramid and the Red Pyramid, and they are the oldest completed pyramids. So one of the really nice things about uh, these pyramids in Dashur that she was talking about and that we've noticed is there's like literally no one else around <laughs> and we pretty much have all these pyramids um to ourselves i mean there's maybe maybe a half dozen other people here between the three pyramids that we are at it was interesting as we were coming here and we got outside of Giza into kind of the outskirts um it was really lush and I mean there's greenery everywhere right along the Nile and then when we got to Dashur like literally within like a couple feet it went from lush greenery to desert and nothingness. I asked her about how they got the limestone here from the mountains and she said as the Nile flooded they would bring the uh, blocks of limestone that they already had carved as close to this site as possible and then they would use ramps and systems to move it here. So I'm in the entrance to the Red Pyramid, climbing down, and it's basically, let me get to the bottom real quick, it's like a 200 foot descent from the stairs that we climbed up to the entrance of the pyramid down and now we are at the base. Yeah it is. Oh. Wow. Look at that. Oh. Ooh, it reeks of ammonia. The hallways are pretty narrow. Might not be the best place to be for claustrophobic, but there's some openings in here as well. Whew. I reeks. Oh. Oh man. This is amazing though. Yeah, this is really cool, but <laughs> I can't stand the smell. Yeah. Alright, making a climb back up. Getting a nice leg workout in today. Only like 150 feet to go. We're done at Dashur and we're on our way to Memphis. I think we got a pretty packed schedule, so we're moving along pretty quickly. So we just got to our second stop, which is Memphis, and that was the old capital city of Egypt in 3100 BC. So this is Ramsey II. All the pharaohs back then would shave every ounce of their body, so the beard is actually a fake beard, and you can tell um, based off the shape of the beard, if the statues were made for the, the pharaoh while they were living or while they were dead. If it's straight like this, it was made for them while they were living. And then if it's made for them while they're dead, it would be have like a curl on it. He lived to be 94 years old. At the time, she said that pharaohs and queens would only live between like 45 and 55. So for him to live to 94 was very unusual. And in that time, he had 16 wives and 
60, 60 women total, 16 wives, and... We had 120 sons and... 70-something 70 70 something daughters. Yeah. So he was kind of a player. And as you can see, the statue was broken off by his legs. It was originally 12 meters long, and now it's only 9 meters long. But the, his left foot is pointed forward and his right foot backward. And back then, that was a set that, that stood for uh, stability. So the statue behind me, apparently there was uh, another one identical to it um, that they had here in Memphis. Um, but like a week ago, our tour guide said that the government took it and are gonna put it in a government building somewhere. And no, thank you. No, thanks. Have a nice day. You too. And um, so yeah, apparently the government here can just take artifacts whenever they want to and put them wherever they want to. Um, not sure how people feel about that. Mm -hmm. So we just stopped so at a local vendor to get some fresh pita bread. How is it? Delicious. Oh, some fresh falafel. Oh, it smells so good. Yeah, put it in the mm. Really good? Mm -hmm. So we just got to our next spot, uh, Saqqara. And Saqqara is home to the oldest, or the first pyramid ever built. This is the tomb of Titi. Well, it's obviously the body's not in there anymore, but this is where it was about 5,000 years ago. It's pretty cool. It's like uh, this is one of the more iconic pyramids, and there's like no one here. And I feel like that's kind of rare when you come to these historical sites wherever you are in the world. oldest pyramid ever built or the first attempt at a pyramid it technically isn't a pyramid um, it was built in levels there's six levels to this one and so basically the bottom one the first one is where the tomb was um, and where they basically stored all their possessions and belongings that they wanted to take with them to their afterlife um, and then yeah they pretty much just built it in levels until they got to the top mm -hmm. 